Hey, good morning, buenos dias, assalamu alaikum, ni hao, zarais buichi, buongiorno, bon dia, on jarama, no watton, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, beautiful sister? I wanted to come up here on this beautiful, blessed morning just to say hi and to remind you of something amazing that is truly true it's a fact <laughs> you are blessed you are blessed when you have a good heart like you do like i know you do you're always going to be blessed no matter what and you're always going to be under god's protection and mercy and everything you touch will be blessed everything that is around you that belongs to you, that you possess of material, will be blessed. That's how you have to think about your life. It's such a blessing and God's got your back. <laughs> I'm telling you, I always speak from experience. I'm a living proof. God's got my back. So last night, well, not last night, last um, after in the afternoon yesterday, I was very tired. I came back from work. I parked my car here by Central Park and uh, I didn't realize that until I came now <laughs> I left one of my windows open yes and guess what <laughs> yesterday here in New York it was raining it rained I think all night so yes but God's got my back <laughs> he protected my books my Quran they're not wet, they dry, I have in English, I have one in Spanish and Espanol and Quran, my my kids' book, <laughs> my, my son's book, nothing happened to them, they're not wet. The book that I have um, co-author, they didn't get wet and the window is completely down, all the way down. The only water that was in my car was in the little pocket on the side of the door and I just took care of it but to tell you God's always got your back that's how you have to think and the mentality and the mindset that you need to have operate on that God's got my back start thinking positively meditate every single day close your eyes if you want to sit down in a quiet space and just Reflect upon your life, count your blessings, enumerate them, meaning one by one, write them down in your conscience, think about them, repeat, I have this, I have that, I am so blessed, God's got my back, God loves me, God is always there for me, God hears my praise, God listens to me, God answers my prayer. I'm telling you, once you have this positive outlook, on everything going around in your life and everything going in your life I'm telling you you're gonna have peace of mind you gonna have tranquility coming inside your heart you're gonna feel more serene more at peace Zen and every little thing that's going on around you you won't feel affected by it you know I have to start going because there's a lady waiting for me so I can take her to her doctor and it's uh, about an hour drive in New Jersey and I don't want to be late. But I wanted to tell you, yes, God's got your back. Remember, you were made to be unstoppable. That's the title of my book. You were made to be unstoppable. I co-author this book. My picture is here, right here, that's me. And on page 83, I wrote my story. It still has my uh, ex-husband's last name, Griffin. And you can see my picture at the end of the story. I'm going to show you. Right here. Oh yeah, you can learn a little bit more about me. Niamh Griffin, so Griffin is my ex-husband's last name, my son's Eddie, who's 10 years old as his father. Niyama Griffin, born in Dakar as Niyama Kande, raised in south of France, 
is an entrepreneur, author living in New York City, mother of four, former victim of domestic abuse, sister to five younger siblings, daughter to two Senegalese Muslim parents, all living in Europe where Nyama studied foreign languages. In 2016, pursuing her passion for helping people, Nyama fired her employer at Rojas Center, making her dream of being a business owner on Wall Street come true. Thanks to Michelle Bonavitacola of Jointer and several generous individuals who donated to her GoFundMe account, including her childhood best friend, Sabine Ferrato, who flew from Marseille to New York to personally hand Niema some money because she also believed in her and was contributing to Niema's dream. By January 2017, Nyama got certified with the IRS as an income tax preparer. Then in June 2018, after meeting Luis Cordones, she was me mentored by Gary Dennis and Fredo Barber to become a licensed financial coach. When she is not writing books, or struggling with rheumatoid arthritis or helping people build generational wealth, prepare for retirement, save more money, learn about investment accounts to protect their health, their family and their assets. Niyama is found spending time with her sons and her daughters who inspire her to be this unstoppable woman. You can reach her at Niyama Kande 99 at gmail.com. That's my bio. I wrote it myself and I included it here in the end of my story. So yes, you were made to be unstoppable. And that's because you can do anything you put your mind to it. You can achieve as long as you believe it, you conceived it in your mind, it will come true. Write it down, write it down. What is written will happen. I love you dearly, my beautiful sister. I'm so, so proud of you. I want you to excel. I want you to blossom into beautiful, beautiful, blessed, joyful human being, because that's what God wants you to be. He wants you to live a beautiful life, a happy life, and there's no burden that you cannot carry. As long as you put your mind into it, knowing and being optimistic about every situation, every circumstance that happens, happens by the will and the permission of God. Once you put that in your head, then you go ahead and have a normal, beautiful, happy life. That's what I believe, I truly believe in this. It's a wonderful, beautiful, beautiful day. Gorgeous day, gorgeous day. Yes, say, say that. I can, I will, nothing can stop me. I can, I will, nothing can stop me. When you're in front of the mirror, I can, I will, nothing can stop me. I am beautiful, I'm amazing. I can do this. God has favored me. I'm kind, I'm a good person. And continue with your day. Put a smile on someone's face. Bring some joy into this world. We need it. God knows we need it. With everything that's been going around, with what they are doing, trying to destroy society, trying to destroy the children, with confusing them about their gender and this and that. It's so important that we stay grounded and that we stay in alignment with our purpose. As human beings, we were created by the most high, the living God, the creator, the ultimate judge and the eternal. He never dies. He never died. He always was here. He always will be here. Before he created this universe, he existed. Before time was created, he existed. He created time. And he told us, I created you for one purpose and one purpose only to worship me. What is worship? Worship comes in all different forms, but essentially what it means is that you acknowledge there is a creator. He is your 
maker he sustains you he cherishes you he nourishes you he's there for you he loves you he gives you everything you need to be happy in this life and he only requires one thing from you remember him that's it remember me so be thankful be grateful you woke up today you are alive and you have people that still love you that take care of you if you are in need ask them don't be scared don't be shy don't be embarrassed i used to be ashamed of being poor and broke until i swallow my pride and my ego kick it to the curb and i started asking for help and there's always people out there good people generous people people that will not judge you for your past mistakes and the thing that you have done that will be there to help you they will be there to elevate help you elevate they will be there to help you in terms of healing you know if you're going through some trauma like i did many years ago and i was going through emotional abuse narcissistic abuse you need a support system you need someone out there even if it's one person that is able to help you to support you to listen to you to hear you hear you out because a lot of people this is what they're lacking this is what is missing in their life someone to believe them and just to listen to them and not to have this judgmental attitude towards what they have to say what they need to say remember your story needs to be told the world's needed if you have been abused if you are a survivor your story will impact many lives your story will save lives you need to tell it and don't worry about those people that call you a liar, those people that don't believe you, those people that call you a fraud, a fake, a pretending person. Don't worry about them. Haters gonna hate, like the song says, like the statement. Haters gonna hate. People that don't know you, don't deserve your approval for anything, and you don't take advice from them, okay? So continue sharing your story. I love you very much. Remember, this too shall pass. I love you. That doesn't kill you, make you stronger. I'm living proof. My mess is now my message. And this is a testimony that you can conquer anything. You can overcome anything as long as you put your mind into it. Have a fabulous day. <laughs> That's how you have to take life every single day as a super, super blessing super blessing i love you hasta la vista das vidanya bye